Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Excel Pivot Table Playground. In this video, we are going to cover cumulative values not only by pivot tables, but we are also going to see how we are going to do it using Excel functions itself. The questions that we are going to be answering is find the cumulative leads generated for each of the domain. Also check if we are meeting the leads percentage target, right? The reason they ask this question is if we look at the lead generated percentage month on month, they are going to give a different story versus looking at it in a yearly format. So we're going to see the differences of how that numbers are going to come alive and how we're going to meet the target and find the cumulative values. Obviously the concepts that we will be covering is calculating cumulative values. We're also going to calculate cumulative percentages and see how that yearly target is looking like against that cumulative percentage. So let's look at the data. In the data, we have domains two domains, abc.com and xyz.com. And you also have their visits, leads, and conversion data from Jan to December. Website visits is how many people visited the website. Leads is how many actually filled a form and became a lead. And how many of those leads actually converted as a buyer. So that's the flow that we are looking at and analyzing. First of all, let's look at how we can generate cumulative values using Excel functions and formulas itself. For this example, I'm just going to take the abc.com's example. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here separately so that we can calculate the cumulative leads here. Okay, so that's going to be, I'm just going to format it in the same way. So that is going to be is equal to sum of. So we're going to do sum of this. And if I press the colon, notice it will give me G2 again, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of them here and press F4 to lock one of the G2s here, right? So it's going to be like a rubber band. The G2, the first G2 is going to be stuck. The other G2 is going to be expanding as I copy the cells below, right? That will give the cumulative effect that we need. So if I do this and drag the formula down, you'll see that this cell is now giving the sum of these two values. And if I keep moving that down, you'll see it's acting like an elastic band. And the more I pull it down, the more values are getting included and I'm getting a cumulative leads here. So if I keep going down, you'll see that I will basically get this last value, which should be sum of this entire column. So if you see that these two values are exactly equal, which means I've done the cumulative leads properly. In a similar way, uh, I can take website visits here till December, can copy it and I can paste it here. And if I apply the same formula that I have here, let me say cumulative visits, and I can do the same formula again. So I can say this value colon and you'll see that it generates that J2 again and forgot the sum. So I'm going to say J2 colon J2. Notice that we have two J2s. So I'm going to fix one of them so that I get the cumulative value. So I, I do this and I get the cumulative visits and ideally it should be the same value as what we have here. Now, if I wanted to remove the percentage of leads that we generated in a year to date basis, it's going to look something like this. It's going to be the leads divided by the cumulative visits. And that's the percentage that we'll be getting, right? So you'll notice that, hey, we are coming to 48% overall on a year to date basis by the month of June. And from then we are able to sustain and move beyond 56. If I had to calculate the same percentage by just using the leads and the website visits, you'll see we get the 37% first value as it is. But if I move down, you'll see a very different story coming up, right? So this is the cumulative leads percentage. And this is just the leads percentage as is. Let me make some space here. So if you'll see that, you know, by second month, we maybe were excited that, hey, we are getting ahead of the target. And you'll see that it dropped below and then it moved up. 
then we'll get excited again in the month of July and then uh, you know it's it's looking like this right so it can move all over the place when we are trying to meet a yearly target and hence you know looking at the cumulative lead percentage keeps us grounded and it sort of gives us a value which is more closer to the target that we have and you know by end of the year we are looking at the right number and we have exceeded the target by 6% so that's how we calculate cumulative leads percentage now we're going to do the same example using pivot tables again so what i'll do is i'm going to leave this data as is here and i'm going to insert a pivot table here on top and i'm going to take the domain name to the rows area in fact what we'll do is instead of taking the domains to the rows area what we'll do is we'll insert a slicer and have domain here and say okay so which means we basically have a domain that we can analyze here and look at one domain at a time right so i'm going to choose one domain here and i'm going to take the website visits first to the values area and then the leads to the values area again and i'm going to take month to the rows area to get the numbers that we have here you we'll say number format here and reduce the decimals say number format here and reduce the decimals use comma separated and i get this values here right so i have the website visits and i have the sum of leads here if i do the leads percentage on this data using calculated fields it's going to be some looking something like this right so it's going to be leads percentage it's going to be leads divided by conversion say add and say okay oops sorry i made a mistake it will be basically leads percentage it's leads divided by the website visits modify and okay and then i basically get the percentage that i'm looking for in terms of monthly wise and this is the one that goes up and down remember that we saw it's it's going up and down right so we got we got leads percentage but the idea here is to get the cumulative leads percentage so to calculate the cumulative website visits and leads what we'll do is we'll add them again so i'm going to take website visits again and i'm going to take leads again so we have two of the same fields but this one what we're going to do is we're going to say show values as running total in and i'm going to link that to months to get the running total in here and similarly i'm going to say this as running total in for the month and i'll be getting these values so if i do the number format and change this i'll have this value i'll say number format and these values say okay and i'll be getting the same values and notice these sums are equivalent to what we have here which is where we have done the cumulative visits and leads properly now if i wanted to calculate the same percentage here this one we'll have to do it outside the pivot table right so it will be cumulative leads percentage and that's going to be is equal to the f4 if you do this right it's it's going to select this and it's going to have to copy down the cells so instead of that what we'll do is we'll say is equal to f4 divided by e4 to give us the percentage so if i copy this down you will see the percentage that we have here and this this percentage that we generate is going to be equivalent to one that we generated here right so that's how you basically generate cumulative values with using pivot tables and then if you want to create a percentage percentage on top of it and if you want to create a percentage on top of it you can basically calculate it outside the pivot table and get those percentage now if i select for xyz.com you'll see i'm able to get for both of these summaries and this is how we basically generate cumulative values using pivot tables and using sum and fixing using excel functions thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel